Hello friends, today we will see how to uh, how to create load balance set in Azure. So let's start with it. Let's log into the portal Azure portal.azure.com. It's taking a bit longer. Here we are. Uh, let's go to virtual machines. We'll create the load balance VM for this classic VM one. So we'll create another VM and load balanced with this one. So let's first go here and check the endpoints which are configured and uh, let's create a load balancer set first. So we'll create, click on join and uh, click on configure and then create a new load balancer. Since, since we don't have existing load balance set, so we'll first create one and give it a name as web load balance so here i'll, I'll be i'll be load balancing uh, the traffic coming on port 80 that is http port so that is http traffic okay i'm, I'm sorry okay let's give it port 80 80 okay click on okay See, now we have a load balance set ready. So since we can see that uh, right now we have one virtual machine in that, and it is classic VM1 which got added to it. So now our, our next aim is to add another VM on this set and uh, get the traffic load balanced. So for that first we need, you need to know the, class, the cloud service on which this load balance set is present. So I'll go here and check classic VM1. So see my classic VM1 is in uh, cloud service classic VM hyphen one. So now we have to deploy a virtual machine, another virtual machine on the same uh, uh, cloud service so that it can be lo load balanced using that load balance set. So let's go to uh, management portal manage.azure windows.azure.com because we cannot create we cannot customize virtual machine to to uh, to be to be built on uh, the same given cloud service using uh, azure portal that is uh, review portal so we'll go here and deploy another virtual machine same as server 2012 next Okay, let me give the virtual machine name. I'll give it as uh, classic VM. Six. Select the size. Uh, select day zero or cost. Okay. Give it a username. Provide the password and click next. Okay, see. Be careful to select the cloud service on which your other VM is running. Make sure it's the same one. Then only we can load balance it in classic architecture. So provide any data store. Okay, that's fine. Click on next. Just cross verify. Uh, fine. Click on next. Next. Now uh, my VM is getting provisioned. It takes some time, so 
that's it so my imagination 6 is ready now Connect to verify, and since we are making uh, the load balanced for port 80, that is web traffic, so make sure you have IIS installed on this machine as well. So, IIS is already installed on virtual machine 1, so you can install it on VM6 as well. Now, let's come here to the setting part. Go to load balance set, click on join, click on configure. So since both are in the same cloud service, so we are getting this option of web load balancing. So select the existing one. Okay. Now we can see we have two virtual machines on this balance set. Uh, it has not refreshed, so let me go back. Now select the blue balance set. Now we see two, two machines are there, uh, are added to this uh, load balance set. Now the traffic will be load balanced on, traffic coming on port 80 will be load balanced between these two uh, machines. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.